explain to people that are watching what it was like when the first time came back? Obviously, people were sending you updates, weren't they? Well, on the Wednesday, we started flooding because I couldn't get into town. And then on the Thursday, um, we got the call in the morning to say it was getting worse with the help from uh, Zoe and Abda. We just waded through the water. It was literally up to just above my knee. This shop or building, as far as I'm aware, hasn't flooded for forever. Like, nobody seems to know when the last time on mm -hmm. record that this flooded. So we did think we'd be okay. Yeah. So basically, the cellar had filled and then the water had pushed its way up. What does this mean for the floor? Are you going to have to rip the so floor So what is going to have to happen is everything is going to have to be taken out. The office, that's um, carpeted, that's obviously got to come out. <coughs> Never work with dogs and children. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so oh. North Witchford and um, <laughs> Council um, very kindly sending out these teams that um, spray everything with like a very harsh, you know, kind of don't come in for another Sometimes two to three days. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'd spent thousands in, in November to give it a revamp and a new look. The business has been quiet um, for the last 12, 18 months. We've had the talk, you know, Brexit started, then we went into COVID and lockdowns. We've been closed four or five months in, yeah. in total. So obviously business has have not has had a knock. Yes, we are very lucky. We do have a great following. You know, people do still buy from us. It's like you've got to start again, again, again. Again, again. A couple of our customers have started, you know, raffles or um, just giving pages as well, which we're so, so grateful for because as the same as, you know, my fellow small business owners around here, we're not insured. As it's classed as a red flood zone um, around here, th there's no policy for flooding. Yeah, so you think this will put people off, like yourself, business owners, wanting to be in this part of town? I will be completely honest. The threat is very, very real that this is going to be a yearly occurrence. And the way times are anyway, it just makes you think, when our lease is up, do we want to, to stay here? Because okay. the cost to run this shop on a weekly basis, you can imagine the mm -hmm. size of it, it really, well, it's a no-brainer. Which is sad because we love the shop and we love our customers. The big names have pulled out already, like mm -hmm. Dorothy Perkins and New Look and... Edinburgh wool. But I don't think people can see how badly the floors have been affected, like standing here, they're all bubbled up. Yeah, completely warped, all bubbled. Like I say, everything will need to come out because the whole flooring will have to be ripped up. Yeah. And then we assess what's underneath the floor. Would you just say for you guys, the most people can really do at the moment is, is donate and, and... Yeah, I mean, nobody likes asking for help and, and charity as such, but honestly you know yeah. we no one can come down and physically help can they because of, no and, and people have offered and yeah. said you know is there a way we can do it and, and take turns and that's the saddest thing for us just watching it is we've seen how hard this year has hit small businesses like yourself yeah and then now this is just it's just something that you didn't need well thank you for talking to me and i hope thank it kind of gives pe people watching it a bit of a sense of just how how bad badly affected it is and the situation and the fact that there is you know businesses with, with the insurance won't cover you no. the guys are still doing their 5k a day to raise the money through all through february other businesses around town are getting involved and, and offering you know you can buy their services and the, the money will go to the fund it's massively appreciated it really is because it's never easy to say you know, mm. help. The online shop is that still, you can still order online and stuff? Yeah, um, I've got lives twice a week on our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, you can follow us at um, Bella Brand UK. Because that's another way to support you, I suppose. Yeah, no, definitely. And, you know, if you go on our social media, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, it's Bella Brand UK. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you very much.